baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Hey guys, it's Sharika, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today is Tuesday, and I am just out running some errands. I went to the gym. I might have like a little list because I have on my retainers. But um, I'm just running a few errands right now. I'm on my way to free people because I ordered these sunglasses online and they had like some little design on them. I didn't see that when I ordered them online and I don't really like the way they look. The glasses are so cute. But like I said, the design is throwing me off. I cannot really talk with these retainers in. But yeah, the little design that's on the shades are throwing me off. As soon as I get to a stoplight, I'll try to show y'all. But hopefully they have some cute ones in store. Cause sometimes the one that's the ones that's online are not in store. So um hopefully they'll have some cute ones in store and I can just do an exchange. If not, then I'll just do a refund. So that is the plan for right now. And I might go in Nordstrom's because Free People is right next to Nordstrom's. So I might go in Nordstrom's and get a new candle from Joe Malone. I might do that. But y'all remember um, when I was telling y'all about the trainer situation and how I couldn't do the weights on my own and yada, yada, yada. And y'all know I really don't like saying things that I can't do because I can pretty much do anything, okay? Except speak to our knees. Other than that, honey, I could do it, okay? So yesterday when I was in the gym, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm still gonna get a trainer. But I'm going to hold off for a minute before getting my trainer. And yesterday I said, you know what? Let's just knock out like three sets of 15 on the arms. Like, let's do that. So I did that. It was, it was small, but I got it done. And then today when I went in the gym, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's do three sets of leg press. Like, let's start small because you can do this. And the reason that, you know, some of y'all probably like, oh, it's just weights. Like, it's not a big deal. But for me, it is a big deal because I don't feel comfortable doing it. So I said, well, you know what? I'm going to give myself grace. I'm going to do little by little. I'm not going to rush the process. Well, I don't, I don't rush. I'm not rushing the process anyway. Um, but I'm going to just do what I can. Do what feels comfortable. I still plan on getting a trainer just until, you know, I learn how to do the exercises that that's going to help me with some of the goals that I have for myself. So I still want to get a trainer, um, but I'm going to hold off because I can I can do this like it's just I'm I'm more of like a free let me hold y'all up I'm more like a free weights girl like I like using free weights instead of the machines and at my gym the people that use the free weights is like it's a lot of guys in there and I don't want to go back there with all of them I just don't I just don't I, I'm and in my mind I look like I don't know what I'm doing like, I, I feel like I have my forms right, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, every time I think about doing weights and Tony's not with me, I start freaking out. <laughs> and I know it probably sounds crazy to y'all, but it's like a, a serious thing. Like, I know these people's not paying me any attention, but for me, it will be a distraction because in my mind, they are paying me attention. And they saying she don't know what the heck she doing. She about to hurt her back. So, I don't know. I don't even really like talking about it. But, um, because I know, I know that I can do it. So, like I said, I'm just going to do what I can. Do what makes me feel comfortable. And I could go to the community gym because we have a gym where I live. Um, so, I could just go in there. But, 
<laughs> and this might sound so crazy because it sounds crazy to me when I actually say it. I feel more motivated when I'm working out around people versus me going into versus me going into the gym into the community gym because in the community gym is nobody in there or usually it's like one person in there and I don't know I just I just like that I need that motivation to be around other people so I don't know I'm gonna figure this thing out but I, I just been like on my health journey just trying to take a really good care of myself I've been doing a really good job so for the month of July what I'm gonna do is I, I started to switch it up and say well what I'm gonna try to do but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out dairy yeah that's what I'm doing I've just been on like my health journey and it's just amazing so I have like a few friends that's like vegetarians and like workout junkies, but they don't live in Jacksonville, so we can't work out together. All right, let me show you how the glasses real quick while I'm at the light. So this is how they look. They're so cute, but I don't like this little design. But look how cute. So cute. Perfect size and everything. They have the gradient lens. I just thought that these were so cute. My thing is focusing on my face. But um, like I said, they are, that little design is just throwing me all the way off. I don't like it. I am celebrating believing in myself. I am celebrating pushing myself. I didn't push myself to the limits, but I did something that I'm uncomfortable with and I pushed myself to do it because it's going to be better for me in the end. So I am proud of myself. So I bought myself a little candle. I'm going to Pottery Barn because I broke one of my favorite wine glasses. Well, I take that back. My little sister broke it. And she got paid today. She should be buying me this glass. That is what gets me. I know I like oversized wine glasses. And I bought these wine glasses from Pottery Barn. They're so cute. And she broke it. All right, let's go on Pottery Barn, see if I can find these glasses i only need one just to replace the one that my little sister broke and then we're going home look they don't have them they don't have any more this is where i got my other ones from like this they don't have them i'll have to check online Okay, y'all. So, I just got in from the store. I went to Costco's. I went to Fresh Market. Let me the light. I went to Ikea. And I'll show y'all everything that I picked up. I told y'all yesterday that I had to go back to Fresh Market because I wanted to get some more of that creamer and I grabbed the last one. So... Show y'all everything that I picked up. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick grocery store haul French beans, grapes, cantaloupe, baby bella mushroom, soursop, more grapes, carrot chips, kiwis, white peaches, and red potatoes. 
All of this stuff here is from Whole Foods except for the grapes. I got two things of cantaloupe because my son loves cantaloupe. I just bought one the other day and he ate the whole thing. So I just bought one for him and one for me. So I have these white peaches in this strainer because I was cleaning them. I want to get the one that goes over the sink. I looked for it at Ikea because I did go to Ikea today. I didn't find one. So I think I'm just going to go on Amazon and order one. Um, I just think that it's easier and it looks really cute. So I think I'm going to get that. I also bought some garlic teriyaki sauce. I'm going to use this for like my salmon. And then I plan on doing like a little stir fry vegetable situation for dinner tonight. So I probably just add um, the sugar snap peas. Did I tell y'all I had those? I don't think I did. Sugar snap peas uh carrot chips and probably mushrooms and i'll do some salmon with it so that should be really good so that's what i'm planning on doing for dinner tonight and this is just my little bag that i put my vegetables in they also have these at ikea i saw some in there today um i think they had like blue gray uh and i think they had this color i want to get me a black one i think the black ones are really cute I just think that these are so cute so i bought some of these from whole foods so we'll see i'm just gonna put them in a cute little vase and then just for the aesthetic when i'm doing like my reels and stuff i just bought some of these ikea i bought some of these little glass bowls um just because y'all know i told you that i've been doing like the salmon bowls and veggie bowls and different things like that so like when i cook the beans or the brown rice i can just store them in this I don't really like to do meal, meal prep. Um, I can do like stuff like the beans and the brown rice, but as far as like meats and stuff like that, I don't really like the way that tastes. I would prefer to cook my meat same day, but I thought that this would be um, good. You have to buy the lids separate. I have to find my other tripod because the tripod that I have, my camera is too heavy for that tripod, but this is how it looks with the top. And then it's glass. So I like that. So I bought three of those along with the tops, of course. I did cook those black beans yesterday, girl. They took like two hours to cook, but I got them done. But I have them in some Tupperware in the refrigerator. So I think that now I'll just start using these. I just thought that these were nice. So I got these. I think these were like three or four dollars each or something like that. And then the tops were probably, I got the receipt. Let me just look at the receipt. They were cheap though. And then I went to Home Goods and I bought some of these little storage bins for the refrigerator. Um, and these are actually stackables. I thought it would just be cute to just start like really organizing my refrigerator. So I'm gonna give this thing a try. I see it all over Pinterest and I think it's like the cutest thing ever. That's what I plan on doing with some of these vegetables this is how they stack up and then you know i could just put my fruit or whatever i decide to put in these drawers right here i bought the one for canned beverages um i don't drink soda but i don't live alone so hey i thought i could just put like some well the celsius won't fit in here so i guess there's regular canned like canned sodas and stuff like that can go in here and then i bought the container for the eggs which we only have four y'all know i don't eat eggs but again i don't live alone so <laughs> these are all the eggs that were in there so i just filled them up in this little container so i am going to try to get this stuff as organized as i can and here's the creamer I got the last one. It was one left, so it was meant for me. This is dairy-free. It's cookie butter. It's so good. I showed you guys this maybe like two weeks ago. So bomb, y'all. If you like creamer, this is dairy-free. The one that I usually get, and I get it in French vanilla. I get mine from Whole Foods. I've seen it in Target, but this one right here, they only sell this flavor at Whole Foods here in Jacksonville. I don't know about anywhere else, but here in Jacksonville, I can only find this in Whole Foods. I got a few other things from Home Goods. So I grabbed these. How cute! Ah! 
And you guys know that I like to do my little foot baths. So I thought that this would be really cute. They have the different colors. Let's, let's open it up. They had a few different ones. But um, I decided to go with the ones with the pretty colors. So let's see. Oh, it's so cute! Yeah, so they look exactly like the picture. Oh yeah, that's how it is. So yeah, this is how it looks. Let me smell it. Oh, that smells nice. So what I would just do, y'all know my little uh, foot bath bowl that I have. I'll just drop some of those in the foot bath while I relax. And it's going to be a vibe. And then, oh, this is just something for when I make my coffee. Like, I hardly ever go to Starbucks. I go sometimes, but I like to make my coffee at home. So, I just got the classic hazelnut. I really don't like the sugar-free one. I don't like the artificial sweetener taste. So, I just make sure that I go per serving size. So, yeah, that's what I usually do. But let me get started on all of this. I'm going to fix myself some of my hibiscus tea and I'm going to add the cinnamon like my good girlfriend said and I'll let y'all know how that turns out and I'll show you guys how everything looks. I have to peel these off. I hate when they add these stickers in the front. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do to maximize the space, I am going to add the kiwis. These are the sun gold kiwis. They taste the exact same, but they look cool. So I'm just going to hold on, squeeze one in the back. I'm just going to add those in there. And this is how it looks. What y'all think? Oh, that looks so janky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I put the kiwis in the back. It's nice and neat. I got the sodas. I got the little containers right there. The little glass containers from Ikea. There's the cantaloupe. And what I told y'all about my son and his cantaloupe. It's almost gone. I'm glad I bought two. Um, and then the little fruit containers. They've been eating on the grapes. So yeah, that's how the refrigerator turned out. Okay y'all, so we're in my bedroom. But I had to show y'all this because I'm so proud. So I took my curtains down by myself. I washed them and I put them back up by myself. <laughs> but the only thing now, girl, they wrinkled as heck. Look at this. Girl, they wrinkled, but girl, they clean. It's fresh and clean, okay? The bar is up there and then I had to like take out screws. Girl, I was doing the whole thing and I put it back all by myself. So my husband going to be real proud. But now I have to steam my curtains because girl, this is not it and this is not cute. So let me knock this out real quick. But I'm so proud of myself. Independent woman. Yeah, so here's the curtains. I had to take a break. Look how pretty. I don't know why I like these little things so much, but they just look so cute. 
so cute. I'm getting ready to do a reel, so I'll talk to y'all later. This is my hibiscus tea. So what I'm gonna do is just put it in my little carafe. And I'm gonna sit it in the refrigerator and let it get cold. And then I'm gonna drink it like that. And one of you guys told me to add um, cinnamon to it. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like the way it tastes so. Today I might try um, some lemon or something like that. So, I'll show y'all how that turns out when I'm done.